from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, also known as the Hawks, was given a new fleet of cars last month to improve its response time and broaden the national footprint of the investigative branch of the police. Tabi Shimulakai has the story. Police Minister Peggy Tele handed over 22 VW Golf AGTIs to the Hawks and noted that transport resources were an indispensable addition in the fight against day-to-day -day and organized crime, saying he had no doubt that the vehicles would have a major impact in the Hawks' operations. For the average man on the street, these may be the just cars. But for the DPCI and all of us in the environment, the ability to swiftly respond to intelligence, information, and act on the crime that is about to be committed. These vehicles can mean a difference between life and death. Indeed, we are a top brass of investigations, but also as the statement I'm putting here, you must be part of prevention uh, that the crimes you act in South Africa before those crimes are committed. It is through these vehicles that DPCI detectives are able to attend to court cases and give valuable evidence on their investigations in order for justice to be saved. When organized crime gangs and those who kill police officers attempt to, f to flee using high-powered vehicles, these cars will ensure we are on their toes and we stop them in their tracks. Kele said the Hawks should use the cars with the utmost care and diligence, warning officers that the vehicles were procured for a specific purpose. These cars you see here, properly driven with people that has created a proper relationship with, there is nothing that they can't do on the road. Uh, these G8s, there is nothing they can't do. So I hope uh, uh, that will be uh, that people that drive them, they are given and they are exposed in the proper handling and proper relationship of dealing with these cars. So it is not just vehicles. This is part of capacitation plan to provide sufficient resources to cater for the needs and purposes of the DPCI. The increased fleet will improve on response time as well as broaden the footprint of the DPCI throughout the country. The deployment of these vehicles must be executed with utmost care and diligence. I implore managers to ensure that these cars and all vital resources of the SEPs be used to foster community relations. It is a non-negotiable that these resources also go towards creating a safe and secure environment for citizens of the country. To the officers who will be driving these cars on a daily basis, remember that these vehicles have been procured for specific purposes. For the 2023-2024 financial year, the Hawks procured 62 motor vehicles, which included 40 VW Polo sedans that have already been distributed to the provinces and the 22 VW Golf AGTIs. Head of the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, Lieutenant General Godfrey Libeya explains the distribution process. There is a criteria that we normally use to determine where the needs arise. So as you shall have seen, we have indicated which ones are going to which province. So generally, uh, you have got uh, two vehicles that are going in a province. You have got those that uh, remain at head office for head office component, like communications, which uh, when we do some arrangement of events, you need to be seeing uh, those from communication environment. That is how we determine uh, the distribution. Meanwhile, Tele expressed concern with the high number of police killings, calling on the DPCI and the South African Police Service to work together on prevention. So it's a call I'm making that the good work you do has been responded, but we must also work harder on prevention of the killing of the members. Uh, criminals have declared war against the police. They don't care whether we are uniform or white or hawks or not. They've declared war. So it's important 
that we understand that situation and we put an extra effort to protect one another, to protect yourself, but more than anything to protect the communities because you remain the buffer between yourself and the safety of the communities. They will push you hard so that they do as they wish to the communities. So that's a call I make. Please go harder. Go harder on those people that are killing the police. I just hope that uh, uh, the, the, the courts, uh, the judges and the magistrates, uh, they also take it serious as we do uh, on this environment. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.